Hello! How about making a quick fabric matchbox to add one special gift for someone you love? Handmade gifts are a great idea and having fun making it's, you know, even better. So if you want to learn how to make this unique fabric box, stay here with me! I'm Claudia Skill, a cartonage teacher from Colorway Arts. Today I will share with you one simple fabric matchbox. Uh, not as sturdy, you know, as the cartonage fabric boxes, you know, I'm used to make and share with you, but a beautiful box that you can make very quick and you can add like a touch of like a handmade gift made with your favorite fabric for someone you love. When we are making my cartonage boxes, you know, we use the thick chipboard. The boxes are sturdy and, you know, uh, we want those to last like long, long time, right? <laughs> so here in today's box is different. We will not have the same great finishing and maybe the box will not last forever. But, you know, the intention is to have fun and make a quick fabric gift box uh, out of cardstock fabric and glue. Uh, I will show you how to make the internal box, you know, only with cardstock, so that's even quicker. But if you want to go ahead, I will also show you how to make it covered with fabric. A few weeks ago I needed several small gifts, then I decided to make those boxes for the special decorated cookies that I was giving. Aren't they unique? <laughs> I love them. I know you will have fun and your box will be one of a kind, okay? So let's get started! The materials are pretty simple. We're gonna use cardstock. Uh, I use the 8.5 by 11 inches and you can have four sheets for that. Uh, grab scraps of fabric. We're also gonna need a scoring board and a bone folder today. Uh, the corner miter tool is optional. If you have, great. If you don't have, don't worry. I will show you how to do without it. And, and also, we're gonna use uh, a heavy book. We're gonna use white PVA glue, glue all from Elmer's. And to apply glue, we're gonna use a paint roller, a paintbrush, and one tray or plate, masking tape, uh, any kind of scrap paper to protect the table, and a piece of cloth to clean your hands. We're also going to need scissor, rotary cutter, cutting board, and roller. You may also need some embellishments like decorative trims or buttons to decorate your box if you want. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to use cardstock to make this box, okay? Uh, you can use only cardstock, okay, and make the box like this. Uh, the internal part of the box. And then you can... Um, make the cover out of with fabric okay so that's one situation you can have the box only like that and i made several <laughs> a few weeks ago so i did all only card cardstock in, uh, inside because it was uh, so many but if you have time and you want to do the complete box with fabric it's also super nice and i will show you in a minute but even if you want to make cover with fabric, I recommend you to do only with cardstock first to practice a little bit, you know, how to build this box. So let's see. If you want a box like a little bit more sturdy, then you can use the cardstock that is like 110 and 10 liber. Uh, that is the white one I have here, okay? But uh, you also can make it with the other normal cardstock that is not that thick, okay? I don't really know uh, what is the thickness of this cardstock. They don't put in the, the package, but I, I know it's less than 110, <laughs> okay? I will be making this red one here today, okay? And, well, so the dimension for... This is the internal box, and the dimension for it is... Uh, eight and a half inches that is exactly you know the wide of the cardstock i'm using eight and a half by 11 inches sheets so i have here eight and a half and you cut on seven inches okay so eight and a half inches by seven inch that is the dimension for the internal uh, box okay then we need a scoring board 
Uh, I have this one that is a big one, you can use a small one, or if you don't have a scoring board, then you have to make the, the marks, the lines on your paper, the dimensions I'm giving here, and then you go with a bone folder or something like that over, okay, pressing and making, scoring that lines, okay? Good, so I need to score one inch and two inches for all sides. So let me show you here. I have here my scoreboard. So, and I have here one inch. So you go ahead. Be careful on scoring. Sometimes you know it don't go all the way to the end in the same line. So go kind of slowly. Okay, so I have here one and two inches. Then you're gonna be folding or flip over your piece like that and go ahead again. One inch and then two inches. One more time. One and two. One more. Okay. Uh, one and two. Okay. So I'm good. I don't need this scoring board right now again. So here I have the piece uh, all scored in one and two inches and we need to make a few cuts right here. Okay, so pick your scissor or you can use a craft knife with, you know, a roller, wherever you want. And then you go right over the line and you just scored and then you cut all the way those two parts here. Okay, so take a look here. You cut all the way here. Then you cut all the way here as well, okay? Then you go with your scissor and in the first part, you cut this part away. We don't need this first rectangle here. Then I'm cutting this, right? Okay, and then the other one here, you cut this small one, one part right here. Okay, so that's what I need. Okay, so we we'll go ahead and repeat here. Oh, here, and then one more. And then here you cut all the way, and then here you cut here. Okay. So that's the situation right now. Then flip and repeat for the other side. So this is what I need so far, okay? And uh, something else to facilitate, you know, I like to go right here in this part, this is small part that is here, and then you cut just a little, try to remove that pointy, you know, corner a little bit. That will facilitate, you know, your um, process of gluing. So I just go and remove a little bit, not too much, just try to angle here a little bit, okay? In the four of them. Once I have this, let's uh, like fold over the lines we score, just to make sure we'll be in the right position. Okay, and now so this is small ones here. Okay, and okay, good. Nice, so now we need to glue, start gluing this piece here. And uh, um, one tip here, you can use the normal glue all as you always use in cartonage. I have been using that, that's okay. Or if you have this one, I figure out that for only for, for paper, it's kind of more quick to dry. Okay, tacky glue, it's, this is also one, um, one option. Well, let me do with glue all first to show to you. Okay, so I'm gonna use this glue uh, I need to glue these two parts here 
like here with the other one there okay to start building the box so you apply the glue right on those parts here okay a little bit there and then there okay and then I like to hold kind of in this position okay and press right there so you press till that part glue try to align here okay that box in that position with the end of this box so press inside this is paper with paper so it glue kind of fast okay uh, you can also use a bone folder inside to press a little bit make sure it will be well glue and then you repeat the same to the other side okay glue there glue here and then let me put in the right position first okay and then hold a little bit okay you are holding them together and then you put the other one and hold uh, if you have a double tape double side tape you can also use okay it's it's up to you see what you have at home okay and do it okay so so far i have the beginning of the box ready then i need to glue those other sides here for the inside okay so i go with my glue again now you spread the glue on this edge okay put it inside okay and press okay now the other edge here you can put the glue directly there or just put there okay and fold this edge again just make sure you are folding over this cord line okay and you press inside very well and then i have the other two edges to finish okay Remember to have your <laughs> piece of cloth to clean your fingers if you are using, you know, liquid glue. Oops. Okay, then put in the right position and press. Press and then go to the other side. see I'm using glue all and it's not not that you know difficult or super you know complicated to glue but if you are doing like a lot <laughs> uh, one at one time and you want to be quick then that will be a good option as well just say <laughs> okay so here I have my box the inside part of my box ready only with cardstock and I do recommend you to test this first uh, because I'm gonna show you right now what you have to do if you want to cover with fabric to make it cover the fabric and uh, but it will be very good if you it's you know if you already practice only with cardstock <laughs> okay then to make it covered with fabric we're gonna cover this uh, piece of cardstock before building the box okay so we're gonna need two pieces of fabric okay i want one small piece of fabric that is about five let me check here but it's about you know five five and a half inches by four inches okay so that's the small piece that's gonna be the inside of the box let me show you here so that's 
<clears throat> that's the fabric I want now. The fabric for the uh, bottom of your box, okay? So this one goes right here on the center, okay? And the other fabric I need is the fabric for the outside, like here, okay? So the other fabric must be just a little bigger than the cardstock. Remember, it's eight and a half by seven, so just go ahead and cut a little bigger than this. That's what I need for fabric, okay? So let's start. So put your piece of fabric, that's the big one, right, like on your side, back side up, okay? And then let's use this um, cardstock. First thing we are gonna use the roller for the first time, so I put glue on my tray and then I spread, I roll my roller like this, okay, just to make sure I have more glue on the surface there. And then you spread the glue right here over this cardstock. And go with your roller all the way. Okay, so I'm using one piece of scrap paper here just to protect my table, as I always do. Okay, if you never saw a video, you know, uh, that I made using glue and everything, then you can look, okay, and search for more videos about that. So just make sure you are out, you have glue out over this piece, okay, as a thin layer, and then you go right on the back side and press. Flip over and go and press, press, press. Okay, okay, once you did that, it's time to glue this little piece right in the center of this side here of the paper. Okay, I don't really measure, I kind of eyeball here, but if you want to measure and make sure you are gluing that in the center, but I don't really need. Just make sure it's all glue there, and then you put your piece of fabric in press. But you have to have glue all over, okay, all glue. Uh, check if it's not glue, you put more. Okay, here I need a little bit more. And maybe here, okay. Okay, so that's what I need now, but I'm not, you know, use this right away to make my box because it's too wet, you know, it's too, like, you know, flexible uh, uh, and it may not dry flat. So what I'm gonna be doing, okay, do you know my heavy books? Yes. So you need to use a heavy book. You put right there over a piece and keep like that for at least, I'd say at least two hours, okay? I want this to be very dry. So plan ahead, okay? If you want to make more than one, you're gonna be doing a lot of those, but they have a box over, so when you need it, it's gonna be ready, okay? Good, so I have one here ready for you, for us to continue this process, okay? So here we go. Uh, that one stay like overnight with a heavy book over, so it's really, now it's more, uh, it's really dry, okay? So the first thing we have to do now is trim this extra fabric around. So pick your ruler and your rotary cutter, or if you don't have a rotary cutter, just use a scissor, okay? You just go and trim this all the way around. So I will have exactly the same size of cardstock, you know, I had in the other situation, but now it's covered with fabric. Okay, then I need my scoreboard. So now the process is completely, completely the same. Let me just show you here. Okay, so you put your piece there and you go again, one inch, remember? One inch and you go all the way down. Two inches, all the way down. And then, again. I'll repeat this so, you know, you can make sure. See twice. Okay. 
And then one more. And two. Okay. You will be making the same we did before, okay? So cut on these corn or lines all the way to the beginning here to the center and then you cut that one is all cut this one is only half cut okay so i will be repeating all the process for all of them Okay, ready? And then we need to trim a little bit here to facilitate. Remember the same thing we did before? I will make here the same, just to glue better. Okay, then let's fold again here over the lines okay and you may you will notice that it's a little bit okay it's more thick so you have to press maybe a little bit more with your you know um, bone folder over that will help you okay just make sure you are really folding over your squatting lines those small pieces as well okay and okay good nice okay so here you can see we have the the bottom covered with fabric and we have the outside cover with fabric okay as i said in the beginning of this video we will not have you know a great you know the best finishing ever uh on this box because you know that is not the same process of our cartonage boxes when we really can, you know, finish in the outside better. But this is a quick option, okay? So let's see. In the finish, you see, the finish is not bad at all, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's go here. You're gonna spread the glue over the fabric right on these small pieces, the same we did before, okay? And then, as we are gluing with fabric, okay, put in the position, make sure you are aligning here again. As you are working with fabric now, if you want, you can put a small piece of masking tape right here, right? Very small piece like this, just to help you to keep this box in position right on that corner. That help a little bit to do this process a little quick okay you can do like this just uh, in this part but make sure you glue press with your bone folder inside okay and then you go to the other edge and repeat so what i'm gonna do in here is exactly what i did in the cardstock box fabric I like to do this, okay, align there, press, okay, so what I mean with not have a bad, uh, the best finishing, you will see right here in that corner, you're gonna be kind of raw edge, okay, 
but that was you know I tried several different ways before deciding to go with this one uh, and I think this is not a box we could like you have to spend a lot of time on it uh, it's fun and you know it's a quick gift box so I'm okay you can use this box very well and it's not a problem Okay, so here I glued the first those parts there. So uh, now it's time. Oh, let me press a little bit. It's not very well glued yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna be gluing the short edges first. Okay, so let's do here. So once I do that, I like that model of the box because you know. Here, I'm going to be covering, so it will be all covered with fabric inside, right? Okay, and then press. Then go to the other side. other two edges the last ones so a uh, bone folder can help us a lot here okay uh, you can also use that one that go you have in this scoring board good as well okay and then the last one. Okay, so once you do that, you can already go ahead and remove this masking tape if you put there. Just go careful to not, you know, damage in your box or something like this you may have a few threads okay uh, showing up in these corners because again it's a raw edge okay so let me see okay so if you see a few you know pieces of thread you can just go ahead and cut this like that so here i have my box the two boxes I made here, okay, one only using cardstock and the other one with cover the fabric. Nice? Okay, so now we need to make the cover and it's pretty easy. Okay, let's go. So now it's time to make the cover of the box, okay, and it's pretty simple. It's just one sheet of, one piece of cardstock covered with fabric, okay, and you see, I figured out that was the easiest way to do and I hope you like it. Okay, so I need two pieces of cardstock, can be the same color, can be different colors, whatever. So one piece, we're gonna be, let me double check. So one piece, it is four three-fourths, okay, by uh, eight one-fourth. So this is the dimension for the outside of the cover and then the lining, the inside part, is four and a half by nine inches, okay? So those two pieces of cardstock and one piece of fabric that will be a little bit bigger than this piece here that is my outside, okay? So the... Uh, kind of the short one, okay, this is the outside, and then I need uh, kind of half an inch of fabric uh, bigger all around, okay? So let's go and cover this part here. So the same process we did for the, when you are covering for the box, you spread your glue there, go with your roller, make sure you have glue all over. Then you go right there on the center of this piece, okay, and then on the back, you know, side of the fabric, 
and then you press, flip over, press, press, press. You don't need to iron the fabric because when you go like this over the fabric, you're gonna be okay. Good? Nice. So what I need to do now is cover, fold the fabric over because for this one, I will not let la, like raw edges. We're gonna be covering all sides. And when I'm doing that on the corner, I have too much fabric here, okay, to have a good finishing. So uh, what you can do, you can use your scissor and just go ahead. This is a simple piece, you know, so you just go ahead. This is cardstock as well and make one cut like this. This is too small scissor for that. <laughs> Try to cut. So you can go like this in angle right here on your side, okay and cut so let me show you i want you to try to be like 45 degrees here and leave a little bit of fabric right here there on the corner okay don't cut straight with the cardstock leave one corner if you have the corner miter tool that is my specific tool to cut to miter the corners okay then you can use that today and let me show I have a new updated uh, corner tool. So it used to be like this, okay? And now I did just a little wider on the sides. Can you see? So if I put them together, they are here is the same. So I have the same angle, everything's okay. But it's a little bit wider on the sides. So I have more uh, place, you know, to be in contact with my cutter there. So let me show you. If you have this one here, it's great. It works super good, okay? You don't need to replace for that one. But from now, all the new ones are gonna be this one, wider. It's kind of a little bit more, give me, I feel like a little bit more comfort when I'm holding, okay? And as I said, I can, when I go here, I have more, uh, more space, you know, to be touching my cutter with the tool. It's good. Okay, so you just put there and then you cut. So you have exactly what I need. Okay, a piece of some fabric there. And then you go on the other side as well. You don't have the corner miter tool. Uh, you have the description in the description of this video. You will see the link to find it but if you don't have don't worry you can just cut with scissors okay so now we we'll spread the glue right here all the way on one of the long edges and now so go we'll spread the glue right there on those corners okay if you you know already know how to cover a piece of paper or fa with fabric it's all the same and then you press right there on the corner press there and press that press over the fabric okay and then you go to the other long edge. Just repeat. Go with glue and don't forget to spread glue on those corners. And flip. You are not covering chipboard, you are covering cardstock. It's very thin, so you know, just pay attention. And then we need to cover the last two sides. Spread the glue all over and then fold with your spatula. And then look on the front, okay? And then do the same with the other side. And I have a tip here for you. Because this is cardstock, it's, you know, it's even thinner than poster board. So you may have, if you look on the front, you may have a little extra fabric on that corner that can be like bothering you. So I don't worry about that. When I have that, I just look like this on the front of my piece and then I cut that extra. <clears throat> okay, just that. And then my finishing now, now is very good. Okay, so this is the outside of the box. Okay, and this one here is the inside. And we're gonna be gluing right here, okay? And then that, it's kind of weird, but do you understand? That's gonna be my cover. But before that, let me show you something. You can also, you know, do something else. You can glue some decorate, decorative trims like, 
la lace wherever you this is one this one here is out I did all with the same fabric outside inside okay and then I use one lace right here that one here I also apply put that one lace and then I glue some buttons over so you can be you know as creative as you want you can see what you have at home we always have lots of fun things to do the only thing I want to say because if you want to glue something some detail like that that's the time okay before you glue the out the inside here then you can glue some detail like here for example okay uh, that's that's something the middle of this piece is gonna be right here the center of your top the top of your box that's the middle of your piece okay so if you want something to be in the middle measure and glue in the middle if you want a little bit more here then you do you know the way you run so let me see if I want to glue that's kind of too wide let me show I have some different ones I have that one. Uh, you can also glue some small details like that, okay? So this is another decorative trims. So for some synthetic things like that, you can use like hot glue or you can use maybe super glue. Um, sometimes glue all works as well. For those that is like laces that are cotton, for sure you can use glue all. For the ribbons, you don't, if you are using ribbon, I don't recommend using like setting ribbon. It's gonna be marked with glue all, so you have to be more careful. But it is easy. Let's say I would like to glue that one. So just cut a little wider than your piece. Okay. And then you can apply glue there. That's the way I do, okay? I spread my roller and you can go all the way over one of the sides. That works very well for the trims. So you can just put there. Uh, let me try to align here, okay? Press, press, flip over, okay? And then you can glue that inside. Okay. Press. Okay. So that's the way I do when I'm gluing those kind of ribbons. Okay, so this is something, you can put something heavy over, wait a little bit, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and glue this inside part right now, okay? So just make sure you don't have glue on your scrap paper when you are doing that, because I don't want to mark my paper with this, okay? Um, so let's see what I'm doing here. I put a little bit of glue on the inside, not too much, and here you can go like I don't go all the way leave like about one inch right here on the bottom and you just go spread a little bit there and then you go here and make sure you glue all the way okay spread that glue all the way leave one border here okay and do this okay once you have glue all the way there you go on the center and you just you know eyeball and then glue over I like to have my my piece of cloth to help me first you know doing this and glue here press 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 you can also use your bone folder wherever you want So here I have, believe it or not, this is the outside of our box, it's almost done, okay? Uh, once you do that, again, you will you not continue doing this right now. You put something heavy over, again, my heavy book, put there, 
and keep there you know you can keep there for a few hours uh, if you are not in a hurry you know leave it there for more time but I want it to be very dry before continuing okay okay so now I have here one piece that is already dry okay it's very it's much more thick okay and that that's it so it's exactly like that yes we have an extra cardstock right here you understand in a minute okay then we need to score this piece in some parts because we need to fold you know in the in some positions to glue here okay so let's see so you put your piece like that so this is the extra chip uh, cardstock goes there okay so the first scoring mark is on one and a half okay so I've I made a few marks right here in my scoreboard so because I'm making lots of those so it's easier for me so let me explain for you so the first mark so this first score line is one one and a half inches okay so one and a half inches is the first scoreboard line and then the second one you give one and one eight each inches more okay so the first one here in my case is one and a half and the second one is gonna be one and eight more and then you count three inches more that's your next uh, scoreboard line sorry and then one one eight again is the next one okay so uh, let me try to explain for you here you may so the first scorn is one and a half okay is this part here and then I have the height of my box one one eight it's here and then I have three inches is the front and then I have one one eight again is the other side and then I'm gonna be folding here okay so let's go so of course this is more thick so you have to be even more careful and try to you know go a few times so you can have that mark very well so the first one is one and a half then the other one is for me let me tell you here is two one two three four five five uh, two five eights and then I have five five eights what is three inches more and then the last one for me is six three fourths oh. Okay, so you go and make sure you fold those very well over those lines. Press, press, press. And then the other one. And then the last one. Okay, then I have here my cover. Okay, I'll fold it in the positions I need and now I have this extra cardstock to help me glue those pieces together look at how easy that will be okay so I only need to glue them together here and I'm done <laughs> okay so that's it so you, sp you spread glue right here over this part of this cardstock okay then you put those together you're gonna be matching them here okay match the sides put in this position um, a piece of masking tape that's very helpful here just put two pieces of masking tape one piece whatever okay put there and press with your bone folder okay so that is our the cover of our box okay so inside outside is all cover the fabric inside is finished very well finished you know with cardstock so choose the color that will coordinate okay and let me see one of the boxes here they have okay and then you can just put it inside here is my fabric matchbox okay oh one more thing um 
When I was trying one of the first ones I made, I put this detail here, the kind of uh, screw, right here on the, the front. And that's, that's a good idea, okay? So if you have something like that, what you have to do is, you know, make one hole here, okay? And then you put this uh, screw there, you know, and, and that's it. Okay, just another idea to embellish your uh, fabric matchbox even more okay when you are giving this you can you know wrap a beautiful gift you can put ribbons outside okay it's up to you i hope you like the idea of making this fabric matchbox and enjoy your craft time making many of those i would love to see them if you're part of my facebook group please share the pictures with us if you are not yet so the link to be part of this group is in the description of this video it will be great to see you there if you like the idea of having fun with paper, fabric and glue, chances are that you would love to make more sturdy fabric boxes, you know, using cartonage technique. Then I invite you to check my website, join us in a local or online class and to follow me on social media. Our links are in the description of this video. And you know, and if you really like and want to have more tutorial videos like this, Please let me know in the comments, share with your friends, you know, be connected. Thanks so much for watching and see you another time.